It's a historic day for Pennsylvania, uh, that Pennsylvania citizens, after a 10-year uh, battle that I've been waging to advance this type of legislation, will be able to go to the polls and be confident that their vote is protected from the forces of corruption who would try and cancel out their vote by bringing forth fraudulent votes um, because we're now going to require photo identification when somebody goes to vote to ensure they are who they claim to be. I think it's outrageous that this has been turned into a partisan issue because when you see the polls, when you see the surveys of the electorate, voters across party lines from Democrat to Republican to Independent believe in supermajority fashion that when they cast their vote, that vote should have the protection of their government, of we the people, we the people who cast our votes that choose who are going to govern us, deserve to make sure that we have integrity in our election process. And how else can you do that other than to ensure when somebody votes, they are who they claim to be? The legislation is going to use the primary as a soft rollout period, if you will, that in the primary, voters will be asked for their identification. If they don't have it, they will be given a pass this one time, and then in November, they will need it uh, every time they vote in November and every time thereafter. We modeled our legislation after the law in Indiana uh, for the photo voter ID, and we modeled our language for absentee voter um, fraud prevention measures after what has been done in Kansas and Ohio. So our, our language is solid. It's in place in other states. Indiana's law was challenged all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court and found to be constitutional. So I have confidence that our law will be found to be constitutional if, in fact, somebody uh, is willing to waste their money and time to try and challenge it.